Alright guys, we got burn fit madness going on, uh, fun stuff, good workout, get a good sweat on. I'm about to go do the burn fit madness workout as well as the 8 week strength and conditioning combat program. So for today's program we have 6 rounds of a 1 minute jump rope and a 1 minute plank hip drop. Straight from that we go into 100 squats and 100 sit ups. Now let's get to it. All right, six round super set on the one minute jump rope. Just do, switch it up like every round. So do a basic jump one round, then do like high knee jump rope the other round, side to side skips the next round. Just anything to just keep your heart rate up, keep you on, on your toes. Jump rope's a great full body fat burner. So just any type of combination that you do while doing a regular basic jump is going to help shut away that fat even faster and burn those calories. On the one minute, one minute plank hip drops. Notice that I'm in that plank position on my forearms. I drop my hip side to side. You want to try to get as low to the ground as you can or even touch the ground. Keep your core engaged throughout the whole thing. There we go, six rounds, one minute each, and then finishing off on the squats. I alternated 10 and 10 between a weighted squat and a deep squat. So on the uh, weighted squat, I just did moderate weight, went down 90 degree angle, and then on the deep squat, I did a box squat. So I broke that 90 degree plane, dropped till I touched the box. The moment that I felt my butt touch the box, I came right back up. I didn't sit on the box and then stand back up. Tap, back up. Going from a weighted to a body weight speed squat like that, is going to create that definition in your legs. It's not strictly strength training. You're adding a little more power to that exercise. And last one, on the 100 sit-ups, you notice that I put uh, dumbbells down, I have my feet underneath it. That's typically what I like to do when I really wanna engage my core on those sit-ups. I cross my arms over my body. Normally, people will put their hands behind their ears or just leave their hands to their side. That works, but you're not getting the full potential from your core while doing that. Crossing your arms forces you to use all your internal cords to help pull yourself up from that sit. And keeping your feet planted on the ground like that is also gonna help engage. So there we go, super quick circuit today. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Till then, deuces.